out of bed. Oh, well, Miss Harbury, you gave me a fright there. Girls must not leave their rooms after lights out. I know, but it's a bit silly when you think about it. I mean, what if there's an emergency? And what if a girl's cat needs a drink like mine did? Apart from it's a dog. Enough! That. Dressing gown. Oh, isn't it the best? Granny Hubble sent it to me because I wrote to her and told her how cold it gets sometimes. I got matching slippers too. Good grief. Confiscated until the end of term. But that's not fair. Girls must wear regulation uniform at all times. Even in the shower. Get to bed immediately. But now! Poor little kittens, they're panting all night. Aww. Girls must not leave their rooms off the lights out. I'm sorry, Miss Harding, but that's all stinks. Look at Belladonna's groups about the future, everyone. It's really good. Thank you, Dillis. I'm sure Miss Nightingale will be suitably impressed. It's able to colour coordinate. Look. Because there are like hundreds of witches flying around in red designer suits with matching handbag and shoes, aren't there? Mona, try using a little imagination. This is the future, and in the future, colour will be the new black for any self-respecting witch. What is that? My broomstick of the future. Broomstick of the Stone Age, more like. Why don't you do us all a favour and give your mouth a rest for once, Brother Jonah? Look who's talking. You've done nothing but rabbit on about your design all week. Where is it anyway? What is that? Potion power makes it go faster. Broomsticks work by magic. They don't need potion power. Use your imagination, Benadonna. This is the future. And in the future, all broomsticks will have extra potion power for enhanced performance. Go on then, give us a demonstration. All right. Over. Nothing's happening. Good morning, girls. until the end of term. But you can't. It's my homework for Miss Nightingale. I will deal with Miss Nightingale. In the meantime, you, young lady, would do well to study your school charter. Have I broken another school rule? Where would you like me to start? Rule 21, girls must not ride broomsticks indoors. And rule 12, girls should not answer back. But... Understood? I can't believe the amount of rules there are in this book. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Just mashed potatoes, please. A growing girl needs protein, Chrissy. So I'm a vegetarian. Against school rules, sorry. Next. Where does it say in here that being a vegetarian is against school rules? Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. You shouldn't be reading in the dining hall, Chrissy. Is that against rules too? Next. Anyone know a spell for making stains disappear? No. But I do know as well from visibility. Stainus, Immediatum, Invisibilis. <sighs> Excellent. Can't need this. I know. Daenerys, Immediatum, Invisibilis. <sighs> Great. Except now my plate's gone as well as my food. <laughs> oh, yeah. And here comes Miss Hardbrim. Little winter child, where is your dinner? I've had it all, Miss Harper. The plate, too. You must have been hungry. Go and get yourself some dinner, girl, immediately. Oh. Who is responsible for this? Miss Swoop, is there any stew left? Yes, lots of trouble. Good. Miss Hubble would like to have some seconds. Eat. I can't believe she made you eat the gristle and everything. Mona, oh, please. Who has not had a gone trampoline yet? Come along, Hetty. Miss, 
I dropped the note. Oh, nonsense. It's jolly good fun. And anyway, all girls must participate in peer lessons twice weekly for the good of their health. That's it, Dillis. Balance. Balance. I'm sick of this place. It's all do this, do that, eat this, wear that. Rules, rules, rules. I'm straight. It's about time someone tripped that little bit. Try again. Yeah, like, you're like, really going to do that on your hobble? I don't literally know. But I'm going to do something. Oh, all oh, right. After I get back to the throwing up. Gross! Now, I think Hattie Hubble's a breath of fresh air. Up in the air, more like. Her head's in the clouds. Oh, she's creative, impulsive, imaginative. She's chaotic, impertinent and impossible. Oh, I really don't think you should have confiscated her Brunswick of the future, Miss Harbrum. It's her project work. She's worked hard at it. I'd like to return it to her. I'm very sorry, Miss Nightingale, but a confiscated item must remain a confiscated item until the end of term. Those are the rules. Then perhaps the rules need changing. Did you hear that, Miss Cattle? The school rules need changing. According to Miss Nightingale, I didn't say that. I think you'll find you did. Oh, I agree with Miss Nightingale that design and art are excellent ways of encouraging initiative and innovation. And I think she's doing an excellent job. Thank you, Miss Cackle. However, with regard to the school rules, Miss Nightingale, they have served this academy well for very many years, and long may they continue to do so. I say we need to make demands. Yeah! We need to demand the right to leave our rooms during the night if we have to. Yeah! Demand the right to keep more personal belongings. Yeah! And demand the right to wear pink fluffy slippers. Yeah. And we need to demand the right to... Vegetarian twists at mealtime. Excellent, Cressy. What else? And chocolate chip ice cream for breakfast. Yeah. Interesting. And access to the teacher's food cupboard. Yeah. More PE lessons. Yeah. yeah. Science lessons. Yeah. Optional. No lessons. Yeah. To eat pizza every night. Yeah. yeah. like a protest meeting. Good for them. First, it's a little protest meeting in the common room. Next, it's a medium-sized mutiny in the courtyard. And finally, it's a full-blown anarchic revolution. You need to stamp on this now, Miss Cackle. Trust me. What to you, Miss Cackle? Yes, please. Isn't that exciting? Have you signed the petition yet? Do I look stupid? Never, ever put your name to anything, Dilbrand. Petitionitis, multiplicating, mediating. I beg you to come with me and put an end to this nonsense. Henrietta Hubble, you are in serious trouble. So, tell me, Miss Hubble, what is it that you want to change? The school rules, Miss Cackle. It's the second time today I've heard that the rules of the school need changing. And how exactly do you intend to change them? By throwing the old ones out and replacing them with these. The whole of the school charter replaced by one side of A5 paper, a bold move. But most of the school's behind it. Here's our petition, then. I suppose if the whole school's behind it, we ought to give it a go. What? Tomorrow, starting at waking bell and ending at evening bell, the school will abide by Hetty Hubble's new school rules. 
Unlimited access to the teacher's food cupboard at all times. Any more whipped cream? Beat Slumpy Porridge any day. Mm. I got what you wanted, Hetty. My broomstick of the future, thank you, Mona. And here's the rest of the stuff from the confiscation cupboard. You were right. Miss Kathy was a pushover. I told you. Hetty Hubble, rule number three. Nothing gets confiscated and all girls can have what they want when they do. Isn't that the bell for assembly? No one's dressed yet. Relax. Under the new school rules, you don't have to attend assembly if you don't want to. Shall we begin? Not much point, is there? I suggest we all go and have a nice cup of tea instead. Assembly's cancelled. Run them off. Do you know, if you quadruple the strength of your speed potion, your broomstick of the future has the potential to go faster than the speed of light? Really? I've been studying the theory of relativity and doing the math. Wow. I can't wait to do my talk on it today. Perhaps you can give me some advice. Uh, use better glue. <laughs> How much longer do you want to wait, Hattie? I don't think anyone else is coming. Just because everything's new. Girls will turn up to lessons eventually. I won't. Not if I don't have to. Mona, that's a really bad attitude. You made up the rule, Hetty. Oh, yeah, but... I only came here this morning because you made me. This isn't turning out to be quite as much fun as I thought it would be. Very soothing for the nerves. Is what you wanted, isn't it, Miss Cackle? Please, Miss Cackle, can we stop the new rules now? People are using magic all over the place. It's all going wrong, and yes, out of the way, I'll see to it. No, Constance, wait. I'm afraid your rules must stand until the evening bell, Hetty. That is what we agreed. But. Please, one at a time. Pepperoni pieces for me. Cheeseburger and chips, followed by 
muffins and maple syrup, sausage, egg and chips. But forget it, dinner is cancelled. What? This is all Hattie Hubble's fault. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Hurry, hurry, come on. We all waiting for the new school rules, remember? There she is. What's going on? Get back. Yeah, you can't blame Hattie for everything. Well, we do blame her. She's starting it all. Get into bed and make sure you don't get out again until morning. Lose our brain. If I were you, I'd be seriously worried about your place in this school after today's debacle. I thought you were told to tidy up. Bella Donna Bindweed. Why are you not in your night things? I've only just finished tidying the common room, Miss Hardbroom. Oh. In that case, you can take this down to the bins for me. But don't say a word. yesterday, didn't we? A new set of school rules to try out, and then a daring evening rescue from young Miss Hubble over here. It wasn't me, Miss Cackle. It was Hubble's stupid broomstick of the future. It just took off. I always said that broomstick was a liability. Maybe so. But if it wasn't for Hetty's quick thinking, goodness knows what might have happened to you, Belladonna. I suppose. So what do you say? Thank you, Hetty. It's okay. So, Hetty, what did you learn about rules yesterday? Should we stick with the old or run with the new? The old, the old. rules. Quiet, girls. I'm asking Hetty. Well, maybe a school does need rules, Miss Cackle. Proper ones. So, it's probably best to we stick with the old ones. As if she had any say in the matter. Of course, I realised what Miss Cackle was up to all along. Clever woman. But, you know, Miss Cackle. Why is there always a but with that girl? If I hadn't broken one of the rules last night, Belladonna could have gotten seriously hurt. You're quite right, Hetty. So, what does that say about the rules? I think it probably says they need amending. What? From now on, there'll be a new school rule, everyone. Rule 100. All school rules must be kept at all times, except when one needs to break them. How's that? Nice. Excellent. 
Let's crackle. You're right. This crackle is such a kill. How cool is that? I actually helped create a brand new school room. Well done. <laughs> to cut down on the school walls, Hetty, not add to them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what?